Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of CCL Cup 45. We've got Mongloom and his humans versus Toast Guy and his Norse. Mongloom won the toss, chose to receive, and this is nearly live. Um, they've they've had a couple of turns already, um, but I wasn't able to start then. So you know we'll catch up a little bit and then it will be live. Hello Muppet, hello Tom Schnees, hello Tren. The Tato train is coming in town. <laughs> oh dear. Exactly, Dio. That is the dream, isn't it? I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and do every single every single playoff game here. Um you know, mostly replays, but if they're live and I can do them, I'll do them live. Um, but, you know, mo mostly replays, I guess. And yeah, it's good. It's content, isn't it? It's content without having to play a Blood Bowl, which is the absolute dream for me. <laughs> the absolute dream. We've got this ridiculous Edge 5 catcher who's already rolled a 1. Typical. It's frenzy trap here, but uh, it doesn't mind. Rolls a pow. Classic. Absolute classic frenzy trap. Frenzy opportunity, as Space Cadet would say. <laughs> Three dice. Mighty blow. Doesn't get the knockdown. God, I hate Norse. So that was a good turn for them, wasn't it? Really? Two stuns, no one removed. Now they will attempt to dice their opponent. As only Norse know how to. Or as the only thing that Norse know how to do. There we go, armor 8 removed. After uh, 4 armor 7s are fine. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> uh, classic. Classic Norse behavior. Surprised you didn't put him in as well, they might as well have done, right? You've got these three in contact with these two, why not put them in one or two? Hello red hair, yep, don't worry not having to play though. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to blitz him and try to get all these guys punched. That is the, uh, the best idea, isn't it, if you can just punch them all. If you can punch them all, you should probably try to. He's just going to do it. He could do a 1D here, right, for a push, and then he gets the 2D on him. He might do that first, because if he puts in the assist there to hit him, he needs to cover back here, though. That was that was lucky, really. He needs to cover over here as well before he does that. That was really bad, wasn't it? That, like, that was really lazy, like, this. But I guess it's, it's kind of tough, because if this guy isn't here... Like this is great now because he's tagged him and he's not powered him. But if this guy is on this side, then he's got he's got options here to get this guy in, hasn't he? So basically, didn't didn't protect his balls enough all around. Nice juicy target there. He didn't blitz him. He must have something clever in mind. Well, I say cleverer. He is a Norse coach. Hey, there you go. Classic, classic Norse. Another hit on armor eight. <laughs> Another removal. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. Oh, was he going to blitz with a yeti? It looks like he was. Some justice. That's a good point, Dio. That is a good point. He's getting forward, but he's getting forward a bit too quickly, I would say. This doesn't look like it's going to be easy to stall. <laughs> Flicky showed willingness to murder Le Bread Mask. <laughs> but Le Bread Mask dodged him. Yep, he's going to have to reroll that, get the pal. 
Well, this was another frenzy trap, wasn't it? Yep, that was another two into one. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't he strength three? He, he, I thought he was blitzing an alpha game. No, this was. Oh, no, this was a one. It was a two into a one, wasn't it? Yeah. Because he would have pushed him there and it would have been an assist and an assist. And he's moved this guy in here anyway, so why not move this guy to here? First. That was a two into a one. It wasn't in odd uphill, but it was a two into a one. Could we have seen a clever move there? We we could have done. I don't think it would have achieved anything. He could have chained this this wolf to here um, by blitzing this character, moving in a guy, and then chaining him to there, then to there. Um, and then he couldn't really have got somebody around the back. If he could have got someone around the back, then he could have blocked him and then got the wolf on onto the ball with the chain, which would have been cool. He's just going to dodge for 2D. <laughs> he has got sidesteps, so there's no there's no possible serve. There is an absolute piling on. And there's another Kaz. Typical Norse, this, isn't it? They, they've both made probably about the same number of blocks. <laughs> but the Norse, the Norse have Kaz 2 and KO'd 1 and taken nothing. But yeah, I didn't like that. He, he, the ball was unprotected. Essentially unprotected. And uh, and he's forced to score anyway, right? Like best case scenario, he's forced to score. So yeah, that was that was very sloppy from Mom Gloom. And now it's pretty much only chance to just pick up and score, isn't it? I would say. Oh, <laughs> if he can do that, which he can't. Ripperoni. Oh, don't you start, Valley. <laughs> Bloody knots. Um. Yes, here, Dev. Yes. Thank you very much for the gloriousness. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do every single game. I'm gonna try to do everything again. Like no promises, obviously, because I'm a bit useless. But I'm gonna hopefully do every game. Hello, Sata. Who's to say if it's good or bad? Um, Artemis would definitely say, of course, can't say it at all because it's uh, it's it's bad to say anything bad about anybody. So I will never say anything bad about anybody. It was only maybe terrible. <laughs> It was only maybe absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> Another armor break, classic. It's it's live now. It has been a replay up to this point, but now we've caught up with them and it is live. Um, yes, Veli, are you not in my Discord? Are you not in my Discord, Veli? I uh, I posted today. Um, Another another removal. Is that Discord? Oh no, the bot isn't working. But you know, there's a there's a Discord. <laughs> and uh, yeah, seven o'clock next Monday is the game versus Rick. Um, seven o'clock on Monday, so it's going to be great because we'll we'll do we'll have our Chalice game together, and then we'll do Monday Night Claw together. As one of us is wants to cry, and the other one's quite happy. No, I'm, I'm sure neither of us going to care much. About the result, um, <laughs> so yes, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, Dad. Hopefully, wingmen will be in plentiful supply. Um, so yeah, I think that's good timing, right? The Monday we'll do, we'll do, we'll do our match, and then we could even do the match. We could do the match together, Rick and Matt, to be fair. No, I won't that could be an idea. In. Rather than Until us both getting I'm commentary victorious. teams, we could just do it together. And I will defend. Maybe I will not. Defend. It depends how serious Rick is. I don't give a fuck. Beaver, 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 beaver. Thank you very much, J5. Staying fantastic for. 36 months, that's nine whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Also three years, isn't it? Um, 
<laughs> yes, here, Dev, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, Dior's ideas are a bit... Uh, I don't know. Unnecessary. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> That's the nicest way I can say it, I guess. <laughs> So what does he do here? Does he does he are this guy starting in contact? So uh, so he can just blitz with somebody and then pick up and score with him. So does this guy just dodge double GFI, two D with wrestle, and then he tries to score? <laughs> yeah, he's like a bit unnecessary, isn't he? Yeah, the, the ideas are fine, the language is mental. Apart from his idea about Hail Mary pass, which, you know. Oh there you go. Humans can't roll two two pluses. <laughs> they failed at rolling one three plus earlier, now they can't roll two two pluses. And now this stun becomes crucial because now the the Norse can basically free everybody up. So do, a, do whatever they want. Absolutely brutal. Brutal match for the humans. And speaking of humans, here's Elliot. Glorious, thank you very much, Elliot, with a massive raid. The craziest guy in Blood Bowl confirmed. He lost his sanity battle with Dio of all people. I mean, when you lose a sanity battle to to Dio, that's <laughs> that's, that's bad news. <laughs> I know you're not human, Elliot. You're a human. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious, the rowdy one himself. And yes, welcome to the round 64 of Chalice. Uh, Mon Gloom and his humans uh, has got into a bit of a pickle <laughs> versus, versus Toast Guy and his Norse. Toast Guy not going for the not going for the surf here. Uh, he's just happy to pile on. There you go, humans. <laughs> he's a bit of a bit of a Nurgle madman. Uh, this this is a nice hit here, isn't it? Because it's not a frenzy trap, unlike unlike every hit that the that the human blitzer has made. This is not a frenzy trap. <laughs> Ooh, I don't I don't like this. I feel like that that oath could have made a blitz somewhere. Okay, he's doing it with tackle. All right. Uh, oh God, look at this protecting the ball. What a what a lunatic! I'm not sure this guy has been to the Norse school of uh, blood ball. Looks like he's actually protecting the ball first and foremost. Um, space Space Cadet Ball Protection Academy <laughs> must be slipping if this is the state of Norse coaches today. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. And he's still got three turns, so he's still got well enough time to get back and score. Make this 2 0 in, in normal time, isn't it? I mean, it's been a bit of a dicing, right? Three KOs, two Kaz. Um, as much as Mongolo made like a bit of a bit of a mad push down the sideline, he was in a lot of trouble due to the dices. Even though Dio loves to assure us that they don't exist. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he knows they do. Um, and they do. Yeah, there have been rumours, J5. There have been rumours that they're one and the same. I don't think the humans can do much. Just gonna try and remove players for the second half, I guess. Wow! <laughs> At least try, Tom. <laughs> At least try to make them look different accounts. <laughs> They've even nearly got the same considerate as well. About twice as many games and about twice as many concessions. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> oh dear. Super Fed's feelings here. That was a great, that was a great meme, wasn't it? Yes, I, th I think he was right to give up there, Mongloom. Like, there's, he wasn't really stopping the skull. But of course, it does mean that the tackle pommer gets to tee off a little bit. And it means he doesn't have to worry about protecting the ball at all. And he's got a dirty player as well. Should the dirty, this guy actually isn't Adj, right? He's got movement and Adj, but he's got minus Adj, so he's less important to farm. Should re-roll this, shouldn't he, with three? Might as well. Very unlikely it bites him in the ass. I think that was worth it. TBH. <laughs> wow, Dio. You know it's bad if this isn't fine. <laughs> if something isn't, if Dio says something isn't fine. Wow. I remember, Dio, your One World, One Blood Bowl appearance when you're saying, this could be totally fine, like a 30%. <laughs> they give up. 30, I wouldn't call 30% fine. Personally. So if 30% is fine, it's looking real bad for Torskai. No, Mongolian. Just another 50 turns and it'll be fine. Probably better off fouling the Garda, right? I think he's probably better off just fouling that Garda, because this guy's a bit crap without without Adge. I think with Adge I'd foul him, but with it with a minus Adge I'd probably be better off fouling. I guess he does have dodge and doesn't have a lot of tackle, but he's he's got a few tacklers. Yeah, he's got he's got enough tackle. Or like the leader, you could have fouled the leader, right? But I guess he's, he's he missed a throw. He's movement five. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably Mangle. Yeah, probably that rings a bell. Tors guy was pretty good, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that rings a bell. That does ring a bell. Yeah, this is why I would re-roll that hit, because it means that he's hitting back with Mighty Blow against your Armour 7 dude, who's pretty crucial for winning the game, right? So, I, like, I'm not a fan of greed blocks in general, like greed re-rolls in general, but I think that was definite time to, uh, to re-roll that, as he wasn't going to be able to protect him from the hit back. Yes, true, the Norse can't take any damage. No knowing that your Norse are completely invincible does change things. For sure. Yeah, I, th I think the reroll was correct rather than fine. I think it was just definitely correct because it's very lo unlikely that you end up knocked over by him, isn't it? Double skulls. And uh, it, yeah, it was de it was definitely at least fine, but I think it was correct. And I am not a greed reroller. <laughs> is he gonna? Uh, is he gonna just block? Mm. He could try just blocking the ogre into a jump up hit, or he could claw mighty. Couldn't he? he? Could claw mighty blitz, or he could just blitz with the zerker. Could try to surf. He's got. He's got a few options. Absolute mad lad. He could he could put this guy here, and then he could try and push the ogre twice, <laughs> and then hit the ogre with the yeti <laughs> if he uh, if he doesn't knock him down. That could be good, couldn't it? He might just take the surf. Nope. Lots of options though, hasn't he? He's got lots of options. He's probably not caring too much, but maybe he should. Oh god. 
he went for the Yeti hit. Which would have had the uh, backup. The backup pom. Is he going to foul the Ogre? He might do with all the assists. Might, he might as well, right? He's got two reserves. He's got a reserve DP. And he's... Uh, He's going to be 1 0 up. <laughs> Apo's gone for the humans. I think he might as well foul here. <laughs> yes, J5, <Jeff>, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is. It is a. Uh, it, 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 that was an interesting turn, right? He had multiple things he could do. He could try. He could have hit the ogre with the mighty blow off. He could have tried to surf that guy. He could have gone for the yeti blitz. He could have gone for trying to get a jump up block plus a blitz. He could have gone for the jump up blitz. So there were actually a lot of different ways he could have gone about that turn. Um, and like you do want to maximize it, right? Because even even though it obviously looks pretty over, like even Dio says it's bad for the humans, but. Like even even as much as he's removed four players, well, fat he's removed five, and the apple's gone. At the end of the day, you still want to maximise your equity, don't you? This one, not not so much because he's he's got minus edge, so he's not he's not as exciting. Yeah, exactly. Get rid of the mighty pro. Yeah, exactly. So there's not just there's not just ma maximizing match equity, is there? It's also chalice equity. So removing a high strength mighty blow guarder is is good for the survivability of your men. Um, even if it's not quite as good as for the winning the match, but I mean I think it's pretty much up there for winning the match too. If the guy had an edge, I'd foul him. Oh, all the chaos stayed out. All of the chaos stayed out. So now he's kicking. With eight players. <laughs> well. Thanks for coming, Mongoloon. Congrats. Yes, that's all he should do now, isn't it? He? he should probably just set up like this again, right? <laughs> like he probably just shouldn't even ch ch change his setup hardly. Um, could put Ulfs on the on the LOS, and then basically just keep it like this because the only thing, the, his only trouble now is going to be the stabilization phase that uh, Dio loves to remark upon, which I I quite like that actually. I'm gonna, I'm good. I think that should be a, I think that should be a. A proper blood ball term, the stabilization phase. I think it's pretty good. As much as it's just another <laughs> silly dioism. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Like equity is pretty good, isn't it? Match equity and chalice equity. I think that's pretty good. But then I guess I am a, a bit of a poker player, so. Maybe that helps with digesting Dio's ramblings. And by the way, if you think I'm being mean to, uh, if you think I'm being mean to Dio, I'm not at all. I think he's, I think he's a fantastic football player. I think he's the best outside of like blood ball, if you know what I mean. Like the, the in terms of mental game and everything, and thinking about it and all that. I think Dio is absolutely brilliant. So there you go. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. Hello Frosty, yeah, no, no, uh, Rick and I's match is next Monday at 7pm UTC. And Monday the 7th, for people watching on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, so, it'll be interesting. I think a lot of it's just going to come down to the dice, honestly, because it's like, he's Kislev with Adj5 and a wizard. So, 
you know, whatever I do and whatever he does. Oh, I know, I know you know it's band style, but just for people, if people just think I'm just being a dick, <laughs> basically is what it was for. I know you know that I think you, you're, you're hot stuff. Um, yeah, well, that's, I think it is going to come down to dice because I think, I feel like there's not much you can do to defend against Kislev with an Adj5 and a Wizard. Um, and there's not much Rick can really do right or wrong either, right? He's just gonna he's gonna have to pull the trigger on the wizard and like obviously he's got some decisions to make and everything, but basically he's gonna pull the trigger on the wizard at some point. And he's gonna roll some dice that turn. And either those dice are gonna be good and he's gonna win <laughs> or uh, <laughs> or they're not gonna be so good and he's gonna he's gonna struggle and so I think that a lot of it is gonna come down to the dice to be honest. I feel like a lot of the decisions we make in the match aren't gonna matter that much. Thank you, LOD. <laughs> Sorry, Pedro, not. I want it to be next Monday so I can stay in Chalice for a bit longer. <laughs> I don't want to just go out straight away. I want to stay in for a bit of... You know, I want to stay in for a little bit. <laughs> yes, hey, Dev, yeah. <laughs> Some would say that's a recipe for absolute disaster, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should do that J5, yeah, especially if I surreptitiously make him like a, a 1 out of 100 <laughs> before that match happens. <laughs> yes, much rather than there are no dice, I think this is going to be one where there are a lot of dice. It's really... I just can't see how it's, there's not going to be a lot of dice. Wee. I mean, it's Blood Bowl anyway, right? There's a lot of dice involved in Blood Bowl in any game. Like this one, for example. Three Kaz. Three KOs that don't return. So essentially six Kaz the humans have taken. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Essentially, yes, Adev, yeah. Try hoping that Rick's dice fail on a critical turn. But I mean, what else is there? Well, like, what can you do apart from hope? Like, that's the thing. There's, like, obviously, I'll try. I'll obviously try to protect against the wizard as much as I can. And, you know, maybe I'll make a, like, a massive blunder. Um, but assuming that I play like me and Rick plays like Rick, I feel like neither of us going to do too much wrong. And it's mostly going to come down to the crucial turns. Which might not even need a whiz, right? Kids level a funny old team. Obviously there could just be a, a snake on either side and stuff like that. <laughs> Pete W is a lovely fella, Tom Schnees, but uh, not not so much when you're playing against him. <laughs> he's, he's pretty brutal to play against. Same as Purple Goo. Purple Goo is like, it's just a monster. It's, Horrible, horrible to play against against Purple Goo. Yeah, like his team is shit, you know, don't get me wrong, his team is pretty shit. But it's got the Edge 5 and it's got a wizard. So So he's definitely got a, he's definitely got more than a more than a prayer. Like if he was a rubbish coach, then he wouldn't he wouldn't have he would have less chance. But His, yeah, his team is not good. <laughs> better than his no, better than his ogre team though. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm done. No, not as a person. I'm sure Purple Goo is a lovely person. As um, like I haven't I haven't really talked to him in real life. Um, I played him once, no, twice. I played him twice in real life, and he's you know he's fine. He's totally fine. Whereas uh, I was on. Pete W's team at uh, UKTC, so I spoke to Pete W more. Pete W is an absolutely lovely fellow. Um, but Purple Goo is, is he's absolutely horrible to play against as a Blood Bowl coach. He's just horrible because it's just like he just he's just really, really, really good. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no JFI. <laughs> yes, Adev. Yes, uh, that that wasn't ideal, was it? That wasn't ideal. Uh, like, how many people at a tabletop tournament are absolutely terrible? Lots, lots of people in a two hundred and fifty man tabletop tournament are terrible at blood bowl. Like, absolute abject terrible. So you really hope to get one of those in the first round, and then when your opponent says, "Do you play fumble?" <laughs> and you're like at the highest point of your blood bowl life after just winning a major on fumble and you're like well actually I do yeah I do play fumble I'm doing really fantastic I just won crown of sand <coughs> woohoo <laughs> oh I'm purple goo <laughs> fuck and then I played him in UKTC as well so I was a bit unlucky in UKTC that I got him as well because like you know he's pretty much the best player on team England I think um and the, the, it was essentially Team England. What was it? The Clique and Destroy was the name of their team. And, you know, there was like, uh, there was Jim Jiminy and Purple Goo and Lycos, maybe. All of all of those kind of people were all on the same team. And I got Purple Goo, which I was a bit disappointed about, because I thought I would have maybe been favoured against some of them, but was not favoured against Purple Goo with Wood Elves. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, for fuck, mate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve at the best of times. <laughs> it was like, I was so genuinely happy that, like, oh, wow, there's somebody. There's somebody from Fumball. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking purple goo. <coughs> oh, sorry. God, I'm still coughing, like, horribly all the time. Oh, dear. And then I took a, I took a dump on my own, in my own bin at university. Um, hello, Flux Streamer. <laughs> I, did, I did do that. <laughs> Mondo Gloom's trying here, isn't he? Like, he's trying things, which is obviously what he's got to do. Like, but... It's, it's real, real bad for him, isn't it? It's real bad. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about probably the best tabletop player in the world, probably just the best player in the world. <laughs> right? <laughs> probably just the best Blood Bowl player in the world. <laughs> and he would never say it. Yeah, it was him, <laughs> it was the implication. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> oh sorry, sorry. I didn't score I think I've lost I think when I've played Purple Goo in tabletop, I think I've lost like 1-0 and 2-0. I've got a feeling. So I've I feel I've got a feeling I haven't even scored against him in tabletop. <laughs> Oh, were you talking to Marzen? Marzen, because Marzen drew 2 2. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think I even got to score against him. I'm not sure I scored against PC on uh, on Fumble, actually. My record against PC on Fumble is pretty horrendous. He's got my number. PC's another one that's just like he's horrible to play against, isn't he? Another, another lovely person in real life, but it's just it's just horrible when you're playing because he, like, he just doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, I never scored against him. <laughs> like to be fair, I was down TV a couple of times, but not by much. But glorious. Yeah, ne never no, scored I won't against give him in. in four games until I'm uh. victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Ah, glorious. Thank you very much, Squig on a Stick, for staying fantastic for eight glorious months, two whoo beaver pregnancies. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly, Dev. Like that's it. Like, isn't it? It's like it's it's oppressive. Like I think him and him and Purple Goo are both like very just kind of like oppressive players. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it just it just feels horrible. <laughs> Whereas Stone Troll, Stone Troll, 
like completely outplays me every time I've played him. I haven't scored against Stone Troll either. One, two, three, four, five games against Stone Troll and I haven't scored. But funnily enough, it just doesn't feel that bad against Stone Troll. Like, it's weird, isn't it? But, like, it doesn't feel as completely without hope as it does against PC and Purple Goo. And it didn't against P PW either, really. Like, PW is good, but, like, you know, I don't know, it just feels worse with those two somehow. Yeah, yeah. PC falling asleep in wrestling matches is his weakness, isn't it? <laughs> For sure. Hopefully, hopefully there's none of that in. Uh, hopefully there's none of that in Blitzpit. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever beaten Core, to be honest. Pro probably not. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, more pullback. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. Hello. <laughs> I did know that, yeah. <laughs> I did know. Oh, it's more Plavac, isn't it? More Plavac, is that right? Stony. Um, PC probably did, yeah. He was taken taken by surprise playing against a blind opponent. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, the the dice. Oh man, a lot of people think they're dice experts, but they uh, they know nothing. Oh. oh, we should have the proper. Mm. You should you should have copy pasted it. Did you copy paste it? Because it was it was a funny it was a funny line. It was it was meme worthy for sure. <laughs> That's brilliant, here, Dad. Uh. <laughs> You'll find it. It was a great meme, wasn't it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great, Tom. <laughs> There we go, pile on. I mean, it's pretty much over now, right? It's, it's just horrendous casualties. Easy to keep the ball safe. There's no need for... There's no need for Space Cadet ball protection here. It's just maximising. Maximising, like, the SPPs? He, should, he could maybe think about who's going to score. Oh, he already has done. He's got it on that runner. He wants, he wants to level him. Um... There's an argument for getting him to 11 in, in MVP hopes, I guess. But I guess getting him the MVP is nice. Like, getting him the skill, for sure, is nice. There is an argument for uh, for that guy, though, to be MVP. I mean, MVP, you can't count. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stony. I even I even had PTSD in Blood Bowl too, didn't I? When I was I was up against like Snow Troll or something, and I thought it was Stone Troll. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I'm sure he'll take piling on, but it's just unlikely to level him, isn't he? Really, like that's the thing. Maybe he's... I feel like a piling on on the berserker is going to make more difference than dodge on the runner, but maybe not. I guess it's good to have another dodge, isn't it? Especially if he's up against somebody like I don't know how the draw looks. If he could be potentially up against somebody who's got a wizard, then having a ball and a blodger, and then the actual ball carrier to recover if he, like, you know, use him as the bolt bitch, as it were, and then you've got this guy to. To recover if he goes down, and like getting dodge rather than maybe getting piling on, like he's very low odds to get the piling on if he scores on him. But I don't know. I feel like scoring on him is all right because then if you get another situation like this, you can score another one on him, 
and then one Kaz and he's leveled, hasn't he? So, like, it wouldn't be... I don't think either's better than the other. I just think it's different. The Blood Bowl community is full of people who don't understand math, but think they do. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> it's great. That was pretty great. Of course, I understand everything, and I'm always right. <laughs> That's all you need to know. G. Leave said it today. It was pretty funny. There was a thing about Glorious. one turn no, as being skillless and stuff. In until I'm victorious. And he and Chunter and were I like saying... Defend. I will well, like saying, this, there is skill to it. And me and Paul were like, no, there isn't. It's literally click right, click Enzo. That's literally all it is. It can't be more than that. <laughs> it's absolutely brainless. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ansi, for staying fantastic for 23 glorious months. Nearly six viewer pregnancies, or two years. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And the whole rest of the game, right? There's still a whole game to play where skill matters. But when it comes to the one turn, it's completely skillless, isn't it? Like, it's just completely, completely and utterly skillless. And that's not taking anything away from, from, uh, from Chunter or Kfog, who both won chalice with a natty because obviously claw bomb is pretty brainless as well isn't it right that's just that's just some skills that give you massive odds to remove people every turn there's no real skill in oh wow so and so piled on that turn <laughs> you know oh yeah i forgot to turn it off i i listen to brown music or brown noise all the all day long now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll turn it off while I'm streaming it. <laughs> oh god, it's the best. It's the absolute best thing in the world. I'll link you it. I'll link you it. It's brown noise. It's fucking amazing. It's like... God, it's so good. It's so good. I don't know what the brown note is, Dior. But brown noise is like... You know, it's a bit like white noise, but... Not... <laughs> <laughs> Not white noise. <laughs> and yeah, uh, what's he called? Gadernik introduced me to it, and it's like, oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, t yeah, tinnitus. Or is it tinnitus? I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I'd n I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. No, no need for a Daka here, Phineas. No, this is just a massacre. <laughs> little bit, little bit risky that, wasn't it? Because if he if he pushed him again, he's in the cage and like you know, like I don't know. It's not really that bad, is it? But maybe he should have moved the cage over just so that that couldn't have happened. It's understandable being a bit, a bit careless at this stage, but. No, no, no. My match is uh, my match is is uh, is Monday, the seventh of March. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, Seven p.m. Yeah. Versus Rick before we do club. Wow, old Frenchman, that's a little bit, little bit dark. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you should, uh, don't think you should expand on that. <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, he's made the dodge in! He's made the uphill! He doesn't get the pow. 
<laughs> That's a good idea, Nancy. Yeah, pre pre record Rick getting battered. <laughs> I like that. I might do that. It might take me a while to, to, to get it, but that's not a bad idea. Oh, dear. <laughs> Pre-record beating the crap out of Rick. I wish I could do that for the real match. <laughs> I can just play Rick about ten times, and eventually when I beat him, that's the one that counts. <laughs> oh, dear. No, my dad's got tinnitus, I don't know. I don't know how he's got it, but he's got it. Like he's old, so... Thanks. Thanks, Paul. It'll be interesting. It will be interesting. He probably shot somebody. No, I don't think he. I don't, I'm pretty sure he's never shot anyone. Oh, Mr. T. 35. What makes me fantastic? Um, it's actually just the name of my leader from my Mordheim warband when I used to play Mordheim. Um, you know. 20 years ago <laughs> so so that is that is what it is very unexciting <laughs> it's not from the chocolates made in Croatia <laughs> I didn't steal a name from that this I had the name first and now they've overtaken Google you can't even Google me anymore it's just it's just all bloody chocolate bars Ah right, Archer. I see. I wondered what I wondered what it was. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I think Rick prefers like a bolt gun, doesn't he? You know, like in uh, in No Country for Old Men. Is that is that the movie? That's how I like to imagine Rick in his basement. <laughs> oh, dear. Quite popular, wow. Glorious. <laughs> Can't flip me, guys. Hello, Chucks. The birthday special. Did he enjoy did he enjoy Jimmy's big end? <laughs> Son of Blood Bowl is poop. What a name. To be fair, the North celebration is pretty great, isn't it? Wow. He's had two out of nine KO rolls. <laughs> He's passed two out of nine KO rolls. Well, there you go. Unfortunately, this one wasn't a very interesting game, was it? It was an absolute Dyson. Absolute dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be fair, these Norse would have ruined my day, wouldn't they? These humans would have been alright as long as they were all like this. <laughs> as long as these humans were all like this, I would have loved these guys. <laughs> yeah. Poor humans. At least they tried. At least they tried. That's the thing though, right? Like, looking at the teams, you'd probably give the advantage to the Norse, but like, the humans have got some good players, right? They've got this Edge 5 guy, the Armour 7 isn't that bad. This guy being mine is, Edge is a bit crap. But like they're not a bad team, it's just it's just been an absolute dice. And it almost doesn't matter how how they played. Because uh Mungloom was just down like three players almost instantly. You can you can say that his move down the side was a bit 
too rapid and a bit too too unsafe, but he had some shocking dice. Even after he'd done it, he had shocking dice. And then it was just over. Yes, Norse are very high rolly for sure. They're like, but I I hate them. I I genuinely hate them because they they are so like they are so dicey. Like their plan is basically to dice you. It's it's just horrible. Tick the trap space. I don't know about that, Adev. He was already down like three players, so he was already pretty desperate when he did it. Right? I don't think. Like I I don't think it was a great player down the side or anything. And I think it was, you know, it was probably a bit. Even if you are going to do it, it was probably a bit too safe and a bit too. It was a bit too unsafe and a bit too early anyway, you know. So like, I'm not saying it was a great move down the side, but he was already, he was already up against it when he did it anyway, you know. Like just because of the dice, not because of his own fault. But then once once he did that, yeah, I mean, I didn't like it, but. <laughs> yeah, like it's it might it might not have been it might not have been the wrong thing to go down there. That's like that's the crazy thing, right? We don't know. We don't have we don't have a blood bowl supercomputer, so it might still have been the right play to go to push down the side and just get a touch down at all, right? That might have been the right play, but I still think he didn't. I didn't like the way he did it because he just, just didn't protect the ball at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. Wow, twenty two AV breaks to eight. Guess which one was armor seven? But I mean, I know he's got padding on and that, but still, made more blocks. But it was mostly, mostly just an absolute dicing. So there you go. Congratulations to uh, Toast Guy. Commiserations to Mongloom. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.